Strong. Emotionless. I'm a psychopath, I'm a killer. My name's Kyle Todd, I'm 18 and I do kickboxing. I've been doing it for about five and a half years. I didn't have my first fight until after two years of coming here because I was quite a big lad. I was about extra three stone heavier than where I am now. He was 87 kilo at 14, which is extremely heavy. It's borderline obese. He's 18 year old, he's 70 kilo. So he's grown into his body, but he's developed good muscle. Kyle's future in kickboxing is exactly what he wants to make it. I want me on shows like Glory, like super combat, like in fighting around the world really. I want to be able to win belts, take them off people, just beat them. When I'm outside of kickboxing, I've obviously got my full-time job at Solar Blinds. What a tune! It's like my first full-time job. Just a good starting point until I can find something else eventually. But gotta start somewhere, go to work, come back, come here, then go home, sleep and do the same every day. Kick, touch gloves! Let's go! He doesn't feel pain like other kids. Um, I've got 18 year olds in my class that'll whinge on about this, that and that about training. He doesn't. It's given him a new social circle, full stop. He probably had his school friends when he joined Millennium. Um, but now he's got like a, I wouldn't say like friends, we're like a family to him. Oh, I've been a man, look. I don't think Kyle's got an ego at all, or he, he doesn't, I think he knows he's good, but he doesn't need to tell anyone that he's good. He just kind of like, he gets on with it. it. He's driven by results. Think about how you want to box, right? Instead of just throwing punches, be, don't be reacting. Think about what you want to do when you're fighting. He's definitely, he just wants to win. He wants to hurt people as well. You know, he doesn't want to just win on points. He wants to step in and take the head off. For a young lad, that's that's not normal, you know. You get your man strength when you're like, a fighter will peak in the mid to late 20s. He's 18 and he's he's got that brute strength now. He just needs to hone his skills a little. We're still working with him, but he's just, he's special. He's very special. Like I'm drinking up to four, five litres a day, eating chicken and rice, brown rice and potatoes. Just keep the weight off. I just feel drained and tired. Just like I'm hungry, but what you gotta do to fight really. If you wanna get the weight, it's no other way. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's just a massive success story. He's just like, with this, his attitude to training and hard work, it just shows you because the kid walked in when he was 14, 86 kilo, 87 kilo. He was a big lump. And then, um, look at him now, he's fighting for titles. I want to start my like, pro career off, really. So I just want to get as many fights as I can and get to a higher level quickly. Kyle's preparation for his next fight's been amazing. He's um, he's put the road work in. He's done. He's never missed a session on his uh, technique. His his hard work. His sparring. <laughs> You've never seen him fight, you're in for a treat on the home show because he's in against a really good fighter and he's going to get hurt, but he'll not show you that he's hurt. Ben's record is about 15 fights, but um, he's, had a, he's had even more. He's probably had double that in his junior uh, fighting career, so I know that he's no mug. Well, I know he's a good fighter. He's, he's got a few titles himself. He's won, he's either won all his fights or majority of his fights, so I know he's going to be a tough opponent.
How are you feeling now, Kyle? Like, feeling alright. Uh, quite calm. What's the day been like for you? Yeah, alright. Just doing my normal thing, really. Uh, you, you're looking quite chill. Didn't see the point getting worked up about it. Remember, finish with the kick, get in close and, and land them knees. Them knees are what's going to win the fight. Yeah, you get in close, you get a hold of him. You know he's going to be strong, right? He's a good fighter. You know he's going to hurt you. You know you're going to keep going, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we've been there before, right? You had it easy the last couple of fights. This one's going to be a real fucking fight for you, okay? He's going to take the wind out of your sails, you're going to take it out of his. He's feeling exactly the same shit you're feeling, right? You just got to go through it, and he's not going to go through it. You, you've got the bigger heart, you've got the more aggression, you've got the... You're more of a fighter than he is. He's technically good, but you're more of a fighter, right? You've got to show him, you've got to take it from him. Okay, you're going to do that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's good. All right, good luck. On his opponent for this evening, will you please welcome to the ring, Kyle fight with him, right? Get into a dog fight with him, make him make him want to draw his punches and throw the knee. Right? As soon as he throws them punches, throw the knee. It's a great fight, Kyle.
Ladies and gentlemen, our referees have decided by unanimous decision our winner in this bout has been the red corner, Ben Goldsby! I didn't know, it could have went either way to be honest, I didn't know. Okay, well done Kyle. To be honest, I thought it was at least a draw. I didn't think he won it. It was a close enough fight. But now I can do about it. That's what the judges say, what they want to see, and what they thought. So. Have you managed to speak to your family and friends? I have uh, had a few words with them and that. My girlfriend was upset about it. She thought I'd won, but at least a draw. But You know, if Kyle decides one day that this isn't for him, um, he's always got a family, you know. It, this, it's not about kickboxing. It's about he's he belongs somewhere, you know. It doesn't matter what happens now for the rest of his life. He'll always have this team, even if you know if, if the if the whole place disbanded, you know. You walk that you, when you train with someone for a fight, you you punched and kicked them, kneed them, you bled with them, you cried with them, you spewed in the same bucket. That's there's something happens there. They're friends for life. And you know that his training partners are like brothers, and I'm like the dad. He's like a son to me. So whatever happens in life now, he'll always be a part of the family. From this loss, I can just gain experience, work on new techniques, so I can like not fall back on them really. So just start get the next one on the go, 6 February for a title fight in Belton. So get training for that one. Just crack on.